I'm Mike. Hi, Greg. Where are we today? We are at BudCon 1. One, two, three, four. And BudCon stands for Fedora User and Developer Conference. It's a community-sponsored project, and this is the first time that we've really been able to get people together uh, to come and talk about Fedora, uh, learn about it, uh, learn about our goals for how it works. Uh, Michael Tiemann just gave the keynote uh, at 10. The idea was that uh, rather than try and keep the process internal about how we're going to fix all these problems, we would just embrace the community and have them uh, have them come and tell us what's on their mind and, and uh, maybe get a few more volunteers to fix it. One of the whole points of open source is that you're supposed to be able to uh, get in there and touch stuff. Uh, and, and by extension, also to have influence over that stuff, right? One of the important things that we're doing here uh, is really kicking off Fedora Extras, which is the explicitly set aside uh, place for the community to interact very directly uh, with uh, engineers at Red Hat. The hardest thing about Fedora Extras is basically uh, figuring out how to bring uh, different personalities into the fold. And you weren't trying to keep that from me. No, I should drop the HTML there, I should drop the README and the RPM. And if you don't have defined mechanisms that represent what that drop needs to look like for Fedora, then you can't contribute. Exactly. exactly. That's a fluffy question. Like... And the problem is that uh, HTML is a structural markup format, and MAN is a presentation level markup format. Is there anybody here who doesn't understand that distinction? And what kind of uh, question uh, well, is that? What are the questions you have? Okay, fantastic. I was interested when it was the Red Hat Linux project and uh, worked in it from there and it just came along. Uh, for the first few months I wasn't doing much more than anything than just being in the way and trying to ask what was going on and everyone was asking the same things. And then in the last three, four, five months we've really started making some good progress on the things and putting infrastructure in place and getting people on, uh, getting people to, to produce things for us and get things outputted. And I think that's when I felt the most involved and like it mattered to us. <laughs> Does that mean you're nuts, Warren? <laughs> I'm here. I have actually made it to FudCon. I think some of the most important features that finally made it into RHEL 4 happened, could not have happened without Fedora. All right. <laughs> These are good nuts. And that's, you know, largely what FUDCON 1 is about. <laughs>